This is this. And this is a I Taylor uh, jacket. It's part of a Glenn Platt suit that I just ordered. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do is show how the suit, the jacket fits. So, uh, here you can see I have the jacket on. I have one button, uh, button up. Uh, the sleeves are okay. Uh, they're doable. Uh, a bit long, but that's okay. I like them a bit long. The button, this button here, is way too high. Now, let me show you. This is my physique. Uh, I am a uh, larger man, and this button sits right up on the top of my stomach. And as you can see, that uh, gathers right around in here, which is not good, and it's very tight. So um, the button should actually be down lower. It should actually be probably where the second button is. So. I like to typically have a lapel, a more open lapel. Uh, so the second button is down here. And that is more along the lines of where I need the first button to be. Uh, the jacket is 83 centimeters long. Uh, and, uh, but this button here is way too high on my stomach. Um, also, as you can see, uh, the jacket uh, shoulders here you can see are, uh, I think the shoulder is 57 centimeters when it actually should be uh, 56.25 centimeters. So uh, I think that, that may be my measurement that's off there. Um, but uh, other than that, it's a nice jacket. You can see uh, the armholes um, are sh the armholes should be 64 centimeters. I'm sorry, uh, 33 centimeters on the front and 33 on the back, so that's 66 centimeters. That's where the armhole should be. And as you can see, when the jacket lifts up, the whole jacket moves, of course. Um, Now, here is a jacket uh, that fits uh, me. It's a blue uh, navy jacket. And here you can see the button is here, right down here where it should be. Um, I'll have to get a measurement. Now, this jacket length is different from the previous jacket that I ordered from my tailor. Uh, this jacket's a bit shorter, probably about 77 centimeters long in length, but as you can see, the button is here, and it looks much better, less gathering um, on this jacket. So, here are the pants, and as you can see, uh, they, the crotch fits okay, but here's the problem with all pants that I purchase that are not custom made. Uh, I typically have to get a 42 waist, uh, and that has to be altered for to have a drop waist, and here's, here's why. As you can see from the pants, they don't drape well, and that's because of this, I'm sure, but uh, there is a fix.
and I'll show you the fix. The fix is here. So, as you can see, if we, what typically happens is when I put a belt on, uh, the belt, the pants will roll over like this. Now, here's what prevents that. What would need to happen is there needs to be a drop waist. So, as you can see from here, if you take the front part from here, from the, this is my waist, this is where I wear my pants, and you put that underneath, that's about, half, that's the whole waistband, except for the rear, which should be higher, which is 40, 47 centimeters, I believe. From here to the crotch is uh, 20, I think it's 28. From here to the crotch should be 28. From the crotch to back here should be 48. So about 77 centimeters. Except the front is dropped lower. And that will make the pants hang properly. And I can put my belt on. So, in uh, the creation of the pants, as you can see, it's probably uh, the band would need to come up to about right there. And that would make the pants hang properly. Uh, I'll get the measurement for this. But basically, I'm, I'm basically rolling up the waist, the, the, the band. Uh, that's probably about two inches. But I'll have an exact measurement. And that way, my pants would take care of this and they would hang properly, as you can see.